So that's the Actually, same process though, no? I mean, this was the, the launch, and then the other uh, process is, is the landing. Right, yeah. so this and pad's... Vertical landing also. Yeah, vertical uh -huh. landing, vertical takeoff. Landing so, on land is not those things that yeah. parachute in the ocean. Right, so anything. this is for Moon and Mars. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we want to make landing pads on Moon and Mars out of the same basalt uh -huh. that's on Moon and Mars. And uh -huh. our basalt's just like that. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. we made these um, centered pavers, uh, like patio pavers, very oh. hard, um, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have 100 of these cliff down there. This is pure basalt. No additive. Yeah. Can I hold it? Hold it, yeah. Oh, holy So it's Toledo. all basalt. It's cooked. 20 pounds more and it's heavier yeah. than me. <laughs> and uh, oh. they're interlocking oh, with these. This is what you do. You, you interlock they interlock it. together. Uh -huh. And then we fired the engine to see how they hold. It sounds like that uh, the engine, the thousand pound engine, moved them a little bit. And that's oh. why we did the test yeah. to see if they stay in place. So we had the engine hit the middle of this paver uh -huh. down there, and um, we had sent that middle paver that the engine fired on down to the uh -huh. Kennedy Space Center, and they did a 3D um, laser scan of it. Uh -huh. They sent it back to us, we put it at the test stand, fired the engine, now we're gonna send that same paver back to the Space Center in Kennedy in Florida. Uh -huh. They'll scan it again to see how much damage there was to the uh -huh. paver. Oh, 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 I see. So uh -huh. we're building this for uh, Moon and Mars, but testing it here. Okay, I got a question. Uh, pardon my ignorance, but interlocking. So this is just like tile. It's like a puzzle. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh, these are right. tiles. Uh -huh. And these How many pieces, square feet do you need? There's 100 of them. Oh, okay. And there's uh, 10 of them by 10. I so see. 10 times 10, 100. Uh -huh. So uh, each one yeah. of them is one foot by one foot. Uh -huh. So it's 10 foot by 10 foot total. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then the engine sat right in the middle of it. Uh -huh. Does it disintegrate or something with all that, uh, you know, when they're launching and all that? Uh, that's why we're doing the test today. Oh, that's what it's for. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I understand now. And uh -huh. the county of Hawaii, mm -hmm. R&D, uh, yeah. Don Mende yeah. and company, they're a contributor to our tests, and Jane. Uh -huh. uh, they're all, they all help fund this along with NASA, Pisces, and uh -huh. uh, a robotics group out of Canada. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and then we have these Canada. people. I met the uh, robotics group last yeah. year. They came down. They came down. Right, right, right. And uh -huh. then um, we have uh, some rocket engineers uh -huh. from California and uh, Westside Wayward Community College on Oahu oh, that I flew see. over to fire the engine for us. Oh, oh really? They were down there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So 1,000 pound engine, 1,000 pound thrust engine. I see. So a lot of. <laughs> when you see. Thrust, a thousand pound a thousand thrust. Pound. The thousand weight pound force is force. the weight around the, for the force. Force the of the engine is uh -huh. a thousand pounds. Yeah. We have three thousand pounds holding it down, uh -huh. so it yeah. doesn't fly. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, they could have sure. basically lift up a thousand pound object. Oh yeah. Taking down the cameras uh -huh. from the um, the test site here. Ledge one still rolling, um, but we're going to just do, be doing some documentation um, and and just kind of cleaning up our equipment here. Okay. And TSO TD. I don't know they got the correct county. So it's part of the site. TSO TD. Is this the first test or is. Yeah, first oh, okay. test. Oh, oh, uh, my next question. Right now. Okay, standing by. So we started building this back in September and finished right after Christmas. Hmm. Uh, our robot built the landing pad, uh -huh. graded it, leveled it, compacted it with oh, a really? rover, and then a robotic arm. No people built that. Oh, oh, no oh. people. All robotics. Uh -huh. And uh, we had a robotic arm from Honey Bee Robotics in Pasadena, California, uh -huh. that have robotic arms on uh -huh. Mars. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, let us know when the site's clear where we can begin sending down some people to look at the pad. Uh, you can send people over, just let them know to stay outside the blue circle, over. Okay. So we can uh, send people down if you want to go down to the pad area. Um, the inner core is what we call the bullseye. Uh, we're... Uh, yeah, it's just an switch. Copy. So um, the outer apron, the gray area, 
is okay to step on. Do not go into the blue area or onto the brown area down there um, because that's part of our test data set. We're taking data. So you can go on the gray area. It's fine, to, but no further, all right? So you're welcome to drive your cars down if oh, you want. Can we? Well, yes. Maybe I can. Uh, yeah, yeah I got if time. you got time. Uh, oh, very yes. good. Uh huh. Yeah, you uh, you need your hard hats down there. Oh, okay. So Megan, everybody that goes down has to have a hard hat. Okay, I can have one from here. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep. So you have to have a hard hat if you go down to the area. Yeah, I got a soft head. <laughs> okay. Yep. So. One more question. Yeah. This means that if there's any damage to that launching landing, that is also be, going to be reconstructed, reconstructed by the, all robotics? All robotics. So oh. we built the whole thing with a robot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So uh, Honeybee has built arms that are on Mars. Uh, I don't and make support of this robotics program in our high school programs. Yep. So this so is this something. So this is big. Yeah. No uh -huh. people built that. Yeah. Only a robot built it. Uh, Toward the end of December. So let's go take a look. Yeah. Okay, I can drive my car around. Yep. Now. Okay. Got your hard Thank hat. You. Nice bright red. Yeah. <laughs> Went with the shirt. Yeah. Yeah, the fan channel switched. I didn't realize I wasn't broadcasting. Lifted the arrow and lifted those up. Blew out of the uh, court. Yeah. That's another step that we're going to look at uh, that possibly will help keep the gases from getting underneath the papers and lifting them. So that's what happened here. Gases got underneath and blew them off. So if we grout them, then it'll keep the gases from getting down in and around and under the papers and may significantly help in keeping them from from getting uh, lifted out of the pad area.